get our initiation points. Flick it back. There we go. Nice and close to the wall. This is what I wanted. Nice and close. Getting those, getting those close calls. everybody and welcome back to another episode here on Torch Drift here on this Monday. If you haven't guessed by the title, it is time for another build here on the channel. We are going to be doing a crate build. I have had my sponsorship set up for King uh <laughs> Kin Kinugawa, Kinugawa or however you say it and Wise Fab for sponsorship crates. So, we are going to go to the garage and do a crate build. To start this episode off we have 32 sponsorship crates to go through so hopefully with that we will get some decent parts to be able to do a build and uh the car that we are going to choose today to do the build is this e21 bmw so like i said we have 32 crates to open up so we're just going to hop right into it and hope we can get some good stuff on these sponsored crates so first crate that we're going to open hopefully it's a banger tires and aftermarket angle kit so the aftermarket angle kit is definitely uh an additive onto that because we will need that so we're just going to go through all 32 of these crate or 32 of these crates import suspension that's good um and see what parts we are set on after we do all these crate openings and then go from there maybe spend a little bit more cash on it we got you know 2500 bucks right there that we can spend on the car trying to only spend the money that we get from the crates and now now we got some five grand to spend and we got some uh gold too so that oop two sets of aftermarket parts what are we looking at? aftermarket intercooler aftermarket ecu coming in clutch with some parts we're definitely gonna need as many parts as we can for this car to make a decent build out of it to start off import intake next in tires all right so far so good we haven't had pretty much any real busts other than i mean that one we don't really need tires but maybe we can get a custom car in here too that i don't have some more import parts Import suspension, import turbo, that's a good pull. We don't need that suspension because we do have um, aftermarket. We do have an import suspension, I was saying import. There's another $5,000, so that's 10 grand that we could spend on this. Still got 23 more to go, some more money, some more tires. So if you guys don't have these set up for get sponsorship crates, it's definitely a good thing that we got a good set of amount of tires there. That was kind of a bust crate open, but it's kind of cool just to do these. What do we got? We got the suspension, but we will get money for that since we've already opened that. So I'm really hoping to get some uh, some good some good parts for this because we can get pro parts and import parts and stuff like that. So I'm hoping I would really like to get one of those custom cars, but I don't think it's going to happen. We have 18 more crates to go. We have a decent amount of starting. I would like an import um, angle kit but we may have to buy it because we did get a lot of money so we can buy into uh some parts as well some alloy wheels okay some aftermarket wheels we'll throw those probably on the z21 has been sitting here stock for a very long time so it is time to do it we got another turbo but we got the money we got a diff sicky rear differential that's a good pull uh, Ooh, ten thousand dollars right there still got 14 crates to go so we have about 25 grand that we could probably spend Aftermarket exhaust, that's a good one. Import suspension fields, we will be using that. Which means we can sell the other ones for more money because like I said, we do have an import in intake. So we will sell all the old parts that we have and use it to buy some more parts for this. Import clutch, that's a good, uh, that's a good pull right there. No pro parts yet, sadly, or cars. Just uh, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of aftermarket parts but hey to start the build off we'll do some aftermarket parts a bunch of tires there nine more crates to open hopefully we can pull something big here getting close to the end we don't need that aftermarket diff because we have an import one but we will use it to sell it and another turbo that one might be a little bit different when it comes to boost pressure we haven't pulled a motor yet so we're probably gonna have to buy a motor which is gonna take away a chunk of our money that we've uh accumulated for today some more suspension but that's some more money some more wheels pretty sad i haven't gotten 
anything other than really import. I was hoping to get some pro parts, but unfortunately, we're down to the last couple. Another aftermarket angle kit and intake, which we already have. So unfortunately, we got three left. This uh, the crates are coming to an end, but we still got some money we can spend on this car, and definitely uh, we got some gold as well. So last crate opening, fingers crossed, we pull something big, and it's another five grand. So we probably look like we got about fifty thousand dollars and a bunch to spend on this E21. So we're gonna go into it, and we are going to install our import or the uh, import one. We're gonna sell the aftermarket one. We don't need that anymore. And we're gonna go into our turbos and what do we got? We got one that goes up 21 and this one goes to 19. So we are gonna fit the one that goes to 21 PSI and we're gonna sell that one. And then of course we're gonna tune this and bump the boost up as high as we can, which is probably gonna trip out our motor. Not yet, okay. We have our ECU that we're gonna install. I believe we're gonna leave everything how it is so far and we're just going to go through here and install all our parts. And see where we're sitting after that. See what kind of power we're sitting at. See what kind of uh, money we could, should put into this. Maybe buy upgrade the engine. So we got all that. We have a stock block. So that is that. And we are over our engine's max. So for angle kit, we only have an aftermarket angle kit. So I'm wondering if we need to uh, bite the bullet and buy... Um, we're gonna go with the fields and buy some new angle kits if they're available in the store. That car gets pretty low though from the start. Alloy wheels, looks like we have some dished ones and some non-dished ones. I believe those are not dished as much as, yeah, no, these are not as dished as much. So we're gonna put those on, we can leave the tires. We'll probably put the dished ones in the rear which will be pretty sweet. So that's that. We did not get brakes. So now we get to go to the rear of the car and we need to put our import diff in. Make sure we're all the way locked on there. Okay. And then we are gonna sell this one. And then for suspension, we gotta put on the fields. We're gonna leave everything how it sits at the moment. And uh, we'll see, we'll go from there, angle kit, import angle kit. Now we gotta put the alloys, we're gonna put the dished ones in the rear. Are these the dished ones? Or are these the dished ones? These are the deeper ones. So we can put the deeper ones in the rear. So, so far, a pretty decent build set on this car. Now I feel like we're gonna definitely need a motor because we are over our engine's max. So we're gonna take a look at parts and see we do, we do have an import angle kit we could put on the car. So we may end up doing the import angle kit. But I think we need to put a new engine in the car. So I'm thinking probably just going to go... We're not going to put 2J in this thing. We'll go with the stroked SR20. And we're going to instant buy that. We do have the cash for that. So we're going to throw that in there. So now the engine is a little bit more powerful. And uh, we're not over boosting it. So we also want to go with that import angle kit, which we'd still have the money for the import angle kit. And we're going to quick buy that so that we can have that installed and we can have a little more steering lock on our E21. So that is how we sit right now. So we're going to go test this car out, how it sits and see what we can do with it. Looks like we're looking at about 584 horsepower E21 and uh what do we got big M full track tunnels edge but we're gonna go practice first we're gonna go to my favorite track that of Cali Banks to throw this car in practice and then we're gonna throw some tandems so we're gonna do the beginning course E21 we're gonna stay with the aftermarket next in tires 584 horsepower let's send it and see what happens I believe we'll start in second gear. Pick it up to third. Kick it in. Oh, I think we're gonna have to go into fourth. Pick it up in the fourth gear. Still has the power to hold it. 
and this car is actually not bad for a crate build right now. It is kind of throwing in, uh, thrown in and holding itself, not the highest point runs, but for a basic out of the box crate build on this E21 with just buying the Ingle kit and the uh, SR. Not a bad way to start off the build for the C21. We are going to continue this build on this car. And uh, we're going to try it in fourth gear, see what happens when it's in fourth. Alright, so fourth logs down, so we're going to go down to third, then kick it into fourth. See if we can handle the bank in fourth gear. There we go. So, actually, very surprised with how this car is handling at the moment with just mild parts installed on it like I said in a previous episode you don't need a lot of power to drift in this game you can do it pretty much around 500 or less if you really want to 400 is a good one too so E21 I think is fit for battle for tandems it is since we haven't driven it we're going to be going against a lot of newer built cars so we may be able to take some wins but we are going to go see where we want to run this thing Either Big M, Full Track, or Tunnel's Edge. We'll run Tunnel Edge Track. I feel like this car can handle Tunnel's Edge. Hopefully. I say that with uh, the utmost confidence in my voice, saying that this car will handle Tunnel's Edge. We're going to have to throw a livery on this car. It looks like we're going up against a 460 horsepower S13. Sid the Sloth. Hopefully your car is not as slow as a sloth and we can get some decent tandems e21 first tandems let's go shifting the fourth gear kick it in and remember that i only have import angle kits so don't throw stupid amounts of angle like i almost did there almost over angled the car because this car does not have a pro or a custom angle kit i'm not going to be able to uh Stretch that out in a straight line. I should have flicked it sooner. And there goes the uh, wall tap to lose all the points. So hopefully we can still come out with a decent lead. This car handles pretty well. I'm actually very impressed with how this car's handling on a crate build. Only a 72, 78, 227 against a 67, 494. So it's a decent, decent battle between us right now. The D21 looking pretty bare right now, though. Definitely going to have to add a livery on this. Get some sponsors on there. But uh, just wanted to see how this thing goes. And Tandems are going to throw it in fourth. Here we go. Kick it in behind the S13. Try to hit him. Transition. Run a little bit lower line. A little left foot brakes to stay there. We're uh, kind of staying pace with him right now which is uh very good for this car and we are getting the doors as close as we can with this e21 until we smack the rear oh we smacked it too so 42 43 chase should be enough to take the win here on hakone on tunnel's edge we're gonna run one or two more tandems before we end this episode off so make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys are still enjoying Torch Drift, let me know down in the comment section down below. Did have a request for an E21 build, so I decided to do the E21 with a crate build. So, we are going to give him one more shot. We're going to try and uh, link the course this time to get more points. Kick it in right on the wall. Ooh, almost over almost over angled that and we did not link that and there goes a loss of points by smacking that that's not going to be good for us right now but we still can somewhat salvage this run we are on the wall like that ah didn't have the power it needed to come off of that wall a little wall tap grazer 86 still a decent run for this build probably could have done a lot better if i wouldn't have smacked the wall sid the sloth coming in with a 68 878 so we're gonna try and chase him down again try and grab as much door as we can on this man and then we'll probably switch it up to another driver kick it into fourth right behind him 
appreciate a little bit after him. Kind of lost ground on him right there. We need to get back into the chase circle. We have to cut the angle there. Oh, Sid smacking hard into the wall. So now we're going to have to come back and get back in the rhythm. There we go. Back in, back in rhythm, back on doors. Not a very good chase run. But unfortunately, Sid taking it hard into the wall in the first turn. So, second battle. E21, great build. Looks like we are going to come out with a win, hopefully. And uh, we will be able to continue our climb with this car. We did come out with a win, just by, not by much. Luckily, we came out with a win. So, we're going to see if we can find another competitor here and uh, continue the battle of the crate build and see what we can come up with today we got Justin in a 744 horsepower S15 so we're gonna try and uh, not smack the wall in this run a little bit of an early initiation didn't get any initiation points so that's gonna affect us when it comes down to total points, but as long as we can maybe stay, stay solid through the whole track and get all of our points, we will probably have a better run than our last few ones. Stay off the wall. Apparently I unlocked a sponsorship. I wasn't even trying, so we did get a sponsorship too, but we didn't smack the wall hard enough to uh, lose our uh, clean run, it doesn't look like, so we will get a better run here in this one 103 to 42 Justin probably smacking the wall so it looks like he's going to forfeit that run is he going to want to run again I will give him a chance to Justin do you want to run one more time maybe you made a mistake he does not so we're going to try and find another one then we're going to go accept our sponsorship before we end this episode so like I said if you guys want to keep seeing builds like this make sure you comment down below I'm going to keep stacking up more crates maybe do another bigger crate build on another car of course it will take some time to get more crates but looks like we are going up against an s14 and uh a lot more power than us but i feel like this little e21 is uh is holding himself down and uh doing pretty well we initiate in on the wall get our initiation points look it back there we go nice and close to the wall what I wanted, nice and close, getting those getting those close calls. Going around those cones. Quick flick. There we go. Try and flick this sooner so we don't completely smack into the wall. We'll run it up there to get the close calls. This is a much better run. And probably the best run we've had all day. Just tagging that last one. And that's gonna be a very decent run in the C21. 142 to 94 so he's not gonna want to go against us unfortunately he said nope that's too high and Bob's out so I think justice is served with his e21 let's go accept our sponsorship to end this episode off and uh I think we did pretty well with the z21 gonna be using it more so if you see the e21 on track and you see me just know this thing uh this thing's a bit of a banger right now so we're gonna go and uh, accept that sponsorship. Not going to the garage. We'll probably be adding a livery or some sponsor decals to this car. So you guys will know it is me. And it looks like we got the sponsorship right here. We're going to accept that. Racing suspension. So do we get anything cool with this? We get cash and select sponsors. So it's cool to have another. Oh, we got another crate coming in. So it's cool. We are still working on that 125 chase run. I did get this, but I don't understand why it didn't work. But we only have one or two, I think only two more sponsors left to get before we got the sponsor tree complete. So we'll be trying to grind those and get those done. So as always, uh, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I appreciate all the support. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming by. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the track.